if like me, you image with a Red Cat 51 or a Space Cat 51, you've probably come across the same issue as me with focus, where they're relatively fast op optics at f4.9 um, and the radial focus mechanism makes it really quite difficult to get spot on focus. Um, ideally, there will be an electronic focuser, and I noted at the time when I opened mine that nobody did one. Um, well, now Starlight Instruments have come out with one. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at it. Hello and welcome to another Simplified Astro video. And when I opened my Red Cat 51, I really did hope that at some point somebody would realize how popular these instruments were going to be and come up with a, a proprietary focus control system, um, particularly given how fine the focus was going to be. I did think it was going to be um, just by feeling uh, the, the focus mechanism when I first opened the telescope and then having used it now for an extended period, it really is quite difficult to get focused spot on manually, particularly if you're using a DSLR camera with um, a large sensor, APS-C or even full frame. Um, it's quite difficult to get focused right across the, the field. Fortunately now, um, and thankfully, Starlight Instruments have come up with um, a focus system specifically for the Red Cat Space Cat 51. And uh, they've called it the SIRCEF, so Starlight Instruments Red Stroke Space Cat Electronic Focuser. Um, it's you've got the actual focus motor itself, and then the focus electronic focus controller. Um, so that's the SIEFS, which is the Starlight Instruments Electronic Focusing System. <coughs> um, I've just got these today. Uh, they're brand new on the market. I think they've just come out in America. We've only just got them over into the UK. Um, so I'm going to open this up today. I'm going to have a look at the, the unit itself, see what it's like. Um, I'm expecting good things from Starlight Instruments, to be fair. They're not cheap. They're very, very good. Um, and then later tonight, I'm going to get this fitted on the Red Cat and then try, hopefully, to get some imaging or, or run this system over the weekend and then report to... Uh, another video at the end of the weekend on exactly how it runs, show how to, to fit it and so on. But um, in this video, I just want to open it up and have a look. I've not seen it yet, so I just want to see what it looks like and how it works. Right, so first we're going to have a look at the uh, SIRCEF, which is the actual focus motor itself. So let's have a little look inside the box. Now these two boxes come, I think you can buy them separately as a, a focus motor kit. So in the box is literally just, um, I'm guessing it's Cat5, yeah, Cat5e cable and the focus motor itself. Okay, so in the pack here, the Cat5e cable. So in the pack here we've got um, a little Allen key, looks like a, a 3 mil Allen key and two little screws. We've also got the focus motor itself, um, along with the bracket, and we've got what looks like a Kevlar strengthened uh, tooth belt. Um, I don't know the size. I'll, I'll try to measure the, the size of the tooth belt, but um, you know, it's obviously this is built for the Red Cat Fifty One, um, so it's going to be the right size for the Red Cat Fifty One. So the uh, the focus motor itself is the uh, Feather Touch focus motor uh, with the RJ45 plug at the back which plugs into the focus controller. Um, I see the way that they tension the belt there is to have an eccentric cam system which looks quite good. So this obviously screws onto the front. Okay so you take that apart and then screw the bracket onto the um, the shoe mount, the, the, uh, the clamp on the red cat and then put the focus motor in and screw it on and then obviously rotate it to get the tension right on the um, the belt and then lock it off with this clever idea I like that very simple 
very clever, easy way to get focus, and that's then tight. Yeah, I like it. So it's very, very small, very simple. Um, I will actually weigh it just so that we get an idea. I've got the scales here so we can see how much it weighs. So the focus motor on its own is 147 grams. So um, not particularly heavy. It feels quite well made. It feels chunky. Typical um, Starlight instruments with this real nice kind of semi satin finished uh, uh, black anodized aluminium. Uh, the real very finely knurled fixtures on the outside here. J just typically Starlight instruments, you know, the, the knurled um, lock off ring in uh, anodized gold all feels really, really well made. Um, yeah, you know, what can you say? Starlight instruments, you, you definitely get what you pay for. Very nice. I, I like that to start. The Kevlar belt is really just that. It's just a Kevlar reinforced tooth belt. I'm guessing they're going to do spare parts for these. I, I can't imagine that they're going to wear out very quickly. I mean, it's you know, there's obviously no stretch in this whatsoever. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming that at some point they are going to wear out, so you are going to be able to uh, to replace them. And obviously them. So that really is the the first part. That is just the the focus motor. As I say that is going to sit on the 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 actual clamp and connect. So we will fit this later on to the Red Cat 51 and see exactly. I mean, it looks relatively easy to fit with being able to take that apart. Um, it looks pretty easy to fit. So it's well thought out, I think. And now we will have a look at the other part, which is the SIEFS, so Starlight Instruments Electronic Focusing System. So this is the focus controller. Um, there's more parts in this, so we'll look at the other parts first. So we've got, okay, so we've got the control box cable there, um, a bendy cable. They're certainly well packaged up, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, well, I'll open that in a minute. I mean, that's just uh, that's a USB, USB A to USB B cable, and a um, the focus controller cable with what looks like RJ11 or RJ12 plugs on either end. We have a 12 volt power supply to um, 2.5, 5.5 by 2.5 plug and a, a cigar lighter socket on the other end. The electronic focus systems software. And then two main boxes. So we've got the control box here, it looks like. Yeah, so this is the electronic focus system. So this is the actual control box. Um, this is this actually feels quite heavy, quite chunky. So this is uh, okay. Well, I finally got inside the box. They're just sellotaped up everywhere, so they're, they're really well packaged. Um, and it's uh, just the standard Starlight Instruments. Uh, electronic focusing system. One end you got the USB um, RJ RJ12, I think that is, and the power port, and then two LEDs. I'm guessing one's power uh, and one shows USB data. And then the other end is the plug out to the focuser. And that's RJ45, so that goes out to the, the actual focus motor. Um, this is actually quite chunky. This, this feels quite heavy, so I'm going to weigh this. Sorry about the bang there. This on its own weighs 367 grams, and that's actually that's a lot heavier than you would think. But again, typical Starlight instruments, you know, it's all um, machined aluminium, just really well made. It, you know, you certainly can't argue with Starlight instruments on the, how well ma they make things. All the uh, writing on the front and the back is all laser etched, so it's not going to wear off very easily at all. Uh, so that's the actual focus controller, and then the other part of the package. I believe is the hand control, the manual control, yeah. So again, I'm gonna have a battle getting in this, so I'll come back when I've got into it. <coughs> uh, 
Okay, finally got into that one. I can tell you the one thing you will need if you get one of these is patience getting into the packaging. But fair play, you know, it's uh, it's expensive kit, so it needs to be well packaged. Uh, yeah, as I suspected, this is a hand controller. Uh, so this obviously goes in using the RJ12 cable supplied to the hand control, uh, to the electronic focus box. This is the hand controller. And this actually has functions by the looks of it. I've not used these before, so I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time uh, over the weekend to see how it works. But there's um, red, amber, green LED status. There's some directions on the back uh, that you can see that says um, the LED being green is 100 steps, uh, function zero, pause, amber, 10 steps. So th there's three different functions, whether the, uh, the LED is red, amber, or green. And I'm guessing that's controlled by the click on the button. That clicks and obviously rotates and that's a, a step rotate so that's not that's not a, a smooth rotate that step so you're gonna be able to go one step at a time and that personally I like that for a, a hand controller because it means you can't accidentally just knock it really easily you know it takes a positive step so uh, that's quite good again typical Starlight instruments all machined aluminium button aluminium you know no plastic parts again we'll weigh this just so you can get an idea of the size of and weight of things this is 204 grams so for something that tiny that's actually quite chunky and, and quite weighty obviously that doesn't need to sit on your your mount that can sit off off your mount on the side so it's not the weight isn't really an issue um, but i'm actually really really looking forward to getting this kit now on the Red Cat 51 and seeing what difference this makes to the focusing because you know being brutally honest I've struggled it's not insurmountable um, my Red Cat 51 I noted when I first first opened it in my first video is quite stiff it's firmer than I expected it to be I thought it was going to be really smooth in operation in a way I guess that's a good thing because it means you know it's not going to move out of focus very easily and mine doesn't but it is quite tough to get exactly spot on focus. I'm hoping this is uh, really gonna nail that down, particularly if I can run an autofocus routine on it. Um, I'm hoping it, it's really gonna help. So I'm gonna get this fitted on the RedCat 51, um, probably tonight actually, I'm gonna get it all uh, fitted on. I'll, I'll obviously do a video of, of fitting it on to the RedCat and uh, then I'm gonna do carry on that video to do the setting up and then the running the software and, and how the actual system works. Really excited about this and hopefully uh, you're gonna see some better results or some good results out of the, the focusing on the Red Cat 51. And I will see you in the next video, bye.